Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to improve our search for our Windows file servers using the Windows file, Windows search service. Yes, that's right. There's an actual service that you can install on your file server that will improve your searching capabilities. Well, let's get started. All right, here we go. All right, so this is a server 2012 R2, and uh, this works the same on 16 and 2019 and so on and so forth. So have no fear, uh, the basics are the same. So the first thing you wanna do is go to your server dashboard, right? That's right here. And then you're going to want to add a role, okay? And that's pretty easy. So add features and roles. You click on that right here. You're gonna go through here. You're gonna hit next. And you're gonna hit, leave it on the roles and features base. Hit next one more time. Choose your server. Okay. All right, so this server happens to be pending a restart anyway, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is hit the next button because we're actually looking for a feature. All right, so here in the features, you're gonna go way down here at the bottom and you're gonna find Windows Search Service. Windows Search Service provides fast file search on your servers from clients that are compatible with Windows Search Services. And so what that means is that when you install this on your file server, your Windows 10 desktops will benefit from it. So. It's pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and click that button right there. Then you click next. And you can check this box if you want it to go ahead and restart. Um, we're going to go ahead and install and let it go through that operation. And uh, we'll come right back after a reboot and do the next step. Okay, now that we have that installed, let's go ahead and put in the next piece of the puzzle. And so we need to add uh, the filter pack and the filter pack is going to allow us to be able to search documents excel documents word documents and everything so let's go ahead and do that operation so we're going to go ahead and do this so you're going to notice that this is actually going to say microsoft office 2010 filter pack that is okay because that's going to give us what we need. And remember to get the 64-bit version and go ahead and download that and install it. This will allow us to search inside of Excel documents, Word documents for the full text search. Okay, let's go ahead and run this guy. Accept. Boom, and that's that. So now what we're gonna end up doing is we need to go turn on the Windows Search Services. So go up here to Tools and find Services. Click on that. And then in this, you're gonna find Windows Search. So it's probably gonna be way down the W's, Windows Search Service, right? So it is running. Let's go ahead and open this up. So automatic delay, um, that's what you want it to be. Okay. And now what you need to do is open up the control panel and find and define the areas that you want to be searching. Control panel, there we go. And here, you just type in index. So Windows indexing options. So go ahead and click this guy. And so it will open up this. And so now what you want to do is you want to add the share drives location, the local locations of the share drives that you want to improve your searching. So you go ahead and you click on this modify. 
and then you navigate to the drive you want and that's not it navigate to the drive and here it is this folder right here you click on it you add it in there and now if you go over to the advanced sections you can define where you want to keep your index location so this is a very important thing because if by default it's on your c drive and depending on how big your index uh grows you might use a lot of space so if you run out of space on the drive that you have the index it causes lots of problems so you can either create a separate drive to to put your index in or make sure that your c drive has plenty of space for your index all right then you have the file types so if you want to go through here and you can look at all these file types you can add file types and and also you can see the index options index the properties only index the property and the file content contents so if we go down to excel for example x excel excel there we go excel xls xls and all these different files are excels so if we take a look at this one right here xlsx that's your your default new office um format and you'll see that that's properties and file contents okay so you can change that then you can go ahead and hit close now if we go back in there real quick i want to notice I want you to notice one thing here it says that it's indexing the items right here and also this says index speed is reduced due to user activities basically what happens is if you're logged in remote desktop or or logged into logged into the pc it's going to automatically slow down the indexing process to allow you to do whatever you need so it need to do so it doesn't get in your way so that's a pretty good option and uh, this could take a long time to do, depending on how many files you have. And just come back and just leave this dialog open. Come back tomorrow, check on your machine, and look to see if it's finished. And if it's finished, then you've got a faster search option. And so basically what that means is when you go to the Windows Explorer and you go up here to this search this PC stuff, and if you were to go in, it's going to be much faster when you're searching in that directories that you found. And it will also search the inside of the files. And that is basically how you set up the Windows search. So now, so your desktop PCs on the connected to the server in the, in the file share, if say you've got an A drive or B drive or X drive or whatever drive you got connected to this, is going to search much faster so they'll get the results so if you have a lot of users that are searching using the search function this is going to make everybody's life much much better i'm kevin stevenson with getmethegeek.com and this has been another video tutorial thanks for joining me see you next time